meter a device used to measure temperature is called thermometer thermo is a latin word that means heat thermometer works on the principle of thermal expansion as you know a thermometer consists of a long and narrow glass tube one end of this tube is sealed and the other end has a glass bulb filled with mercury the temperature scale is marked outside the glass tube of the thermometer types of thermometer there are three commonly used thermometers number 1 laboratory thermometer number 2 clinical thermometer number 3 digital thermometer we will learn about them one by one as you know a thermometer consists of a long and narrow glass tube one end of this tube is seal and the other end has a glass bulb filled with mercury the temperature scale is marked outside the glass tube of the thermometer types of thermometer there are three commonly used thermometer number 1 laboratory thermometer number 2 clinical thermometer number 3 digital thermometer we will learn about them one by one laboratory thermometer laboratory thermometer are used in laboratories to measure temperature these thermometers can measure temperature of hot objects such as boiling water or cold objects such as ice the commonly used laboratory thermometers have a range from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius precautions to be observed while using a laboratory thermometer number 1 the laboratory thermometer should be kept upright and not tilted number 2 the bulb should not touch the surface of the container number 3 the bulb should be surrounded by the substance from all the sides clinical thermometer clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of human body it ranges from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius because the temperature of human body varies only within this range the construction of a clinical thermometer 
is the same as that of a laboratory thermometer. The only difference is that there is a slight bend in the stem just above the bulb. This bend or kink prevents immediate backflow of the mercury from the tube to the bulb. Thus, allowing us to read the temperature conveniently. If the thermometer is to be used again, we give it a jerk to bring the mercury back in the bulb. Precautions to be observed while using a clinical thermometer. Number one, wash the thermometer before and after use. Preferably with an antiseptic solution and dry it using a cotton swab. Number two, it should be handled with care. If it hits against some hard object, it can break. Number three, while reading the thermometer, do not hold the thermometer by the mercury bulb. Number four, the level of mercury thread must be below 35 degree Celsius. How to read a clinical thermometer? Number one, note the temperature difference indicated between two bigger marks. Number two, note down the number of divisions that are shown by smaller marks. Number three, wash the thermometer with an antiseptic solution. Number four, hold it firmly and give it a few jerks to bring the level of mercury below 35 degree Celsius. Then place the bulb of thermometer under your tongue. After two minutes, take out the thermometer and take the reading. This gives us body temperature in degree Celsius. Mercury thermometers need more care. Mercury is a toxic substance and is very difficult to dispose of. 
For this reason, digital thermometers are widely used nowadays. A digital thermometer does not contain mercury. It has a plastic body which is easy to use. It consists of a thermistor which is used to sense the temperature. Another small device present in this thermometer that measures the current passing through the thermistor and sends the information to an LCD that is liquid crystal display where the temperature is displayed in numerical value. So, it is easier to read the temperature since Temperature is displayed in numerical value. Difference between heat and temperature. Number one, heat is a form of energy while temperature is a measure of heat energy level. Number two, heat energy raises the temperature of a body. Number two, temperature decides the direction of flow of heat. Heat flows from a body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature. Number three, heat is measured in joules while temperature is measured in degree Celsius or Kelvin. 